batteries. The inverter. Extension cord. Charger. Batteries. This is probably the least efficient use of getting uh, energy from a solar panel into a battery possible. This is probably like 20% efficient, but oh well, the batteries are going away tomorrow. Ha. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd remark the one thing in this whole mess that has not let me down has been this Morningstar controller. The Morningstar TriStar MPPT TSMPPT60. This thing has just been chugging along, gosh, so long that the IP address nose has just coiled up from the moisture in here. This thing has required uh, zero attention. It has never crashed. It's just been going and going and going. I've been super happy with it. And uh, throughout all this, it has been logging everything going on with the system. And across four years, we've made 825 kilowatt hours of power out of these uh, panels, which is like a hundred euros worth. Yay. Well, you know, it, it has not paid for the system, which costs like 10 times more than that. To be expected, I was going to get more panels, which I never did. Uh, but uh, yeah, throughout this time, this thing has been gathering data, which I have never been looking at. And uh, surprisingly, uh, my panel wiring and everything has just been working, uh, despite uh, the a uh, major neglect of this system has in Jordan, even now in the middle of winter, we're making like a hundred watt hours a day. Uh, although that's pretty much our peak performance as well, since uh, you, you can see that uh, the battery voltage uh, has been low uh, throughout uh, this entire day. It's been uh, overcast and raining, so 110 watt hours, despite empty batteries, 70, 60, 60, 10 watt hours, and a really bad day there zero on a really bad day but the my, my array has such a low voltage that if it's really overcast even though it could put some current out it doesn't actually get much above the battery voltage on a reasonably charged bank so on this day i would have probably made uh, maybe 100 watt hours if i had discharged batteries but alas i did not and if we go back so this is shot in uh, month 11 so 30 days back for month 12, uh, month 10, and uh, you know, we're up in the few hundred watt hours a day, uh, month 9 or so, a few hundred watt hours a day still. All of this has just been going into flow charging for batteries, and uh, back further till we get to like summer time where we're at uh, over one kilowatt hour in a day there. So that's not. No, too bad. We need to remember I've got tiny, like, sub 500 watt solar panels to this thing. And it, it's been keeping my batteries charged up uh, very nicely. I'm happy. Happy with a controller. Uh, so, yeah, all of this is savings that would have otherwise been coming out of the grid feeding into the battery charger in my inverter. So, you know, that's something. This solar panel, uh, this solar system has not been doing nothing. Well, I I was surprised, shocked even when I saw that uh, we're, we're talking four years. It does not feel as if uh, I've had this controller for four years. Maybe it's can it can't have a days like per the brightness cycle, so it could be that it's triggering off and wrong sometimes, but maybe I've had it that long. Maybe I haven't, I, I don't know. It thinks it's been around for four years and to five years almost, and technology doesn't usually lie. Hmm. I'm actually having a bit of a plan uh, for the remnants of this system, because uh, when I get uh, new proper gear for the big batteries, uh, this guy's gonna be left over, and uh, that guy's probably gonna be left over as well. Uh, and, uh, you should never mix and match batteries in a system, so I could get these guys up to 48 volts, get the old panels, and stick them in the barn. Have an off-grid barn with a big battery uh, in there to like, run the lighting off of. Because I actually uh, wired my barn up real nice with massive lighting. I've got a pretty decent space in there 
but then the wiring broke. So I have all this nice electrical gear in my barn, uh, but no way to get power in there unless I like run a generator or something, and I'm not gonna do that. So who knows? Maybe we'll be doing some kind of silly, uh, silly solar thing for that. I wouldn't even have to move the panels just to turn the wire the other way and cart these batteries over there. Mm, we'll see. I I don't think I'm gonna actually have any utility for these guys in uh, the new system since uh, I think they just cause more trouble than they're worth. Since they're, while they are uh, uh, also Sun and Shine uh, A600 series, they are lower grade. Uh, since they have 6 volt blocks, they're going to have bigger issues. They're going to be just slightly inferior batteries due to being multi cell ones uh, compared to these guys, which, uh, well, they're just Jesus basically. They're the best. Uh, so let's maybe stick with the best and uh, shove the rest in the barn where it can sit around and uh, provide me with power uh, when I need it. I never never usually need a lot of power in the barn, so it would be actually a very good application for a tiny solar system. And uh, would uh, let me tear down the horrible 50-year-old cable running to the barn as well. I need to consider that. Hmm. But yeah. There's a lot of sadness in my heart that I see this big thing go away. I isn't even going to play some of a new system for this thing because I'm going to get a proper electrical box uh, to keep my breakers in. In fact, I have a proper electrical box uh, over here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do all my breakery stuff. In fact, guys, it's got the three big switches. I can wire those up to like battery and solar contactors. It's going to. Uh, be all nice and uh, professional looking compared to my chopped up old rack box. <sighs> okay, another day of carrying batteries has passed. It's uh, way late in the night, but one of the batteries is starting to take shape. I have most of the cells for this one, just missing a few and uh, uh, this guy and uh, I think uh, number 21 here, they also belong to uh, this battery uh, and uh, they just uh, can't be installed because we're missing number 2 there and uh, we need to have this entire thing done uh, so that we can get to number uh, 23 and 24 kind of sitting on the outside here. So we've got our 11 cells going each way and uh, two extras here. I've done basic measurements of this corner, and uh, if we squeeze it, we can fit uh, eight by three in that corner. So uh, we can actually fit uh, the entire second battery uh, in there, but I think I'm gonna just kind of stretch it and bring it a couple of cells over there to just make it a bit more compact. We'll see how it pans out. You can either do uh, 8 by 3 or 12 by 4 or some weird asymmetrical thing but of course we want as few uh, long jump links as possible so I'm gonna have to think about that but uh, if we do just kind of cram it in the corner there uh, we get the advantage of having this basically in the entire area free for electrical and uh, that would be a suitable place for uh, the inverter to go uh, so that you don't have to reach over the uh, high voltage uh, mains uh, batteries to uh, get to wrenching stuff. <sighs> so that's what's going on. Yeah, I've actually been running heavy uh, old batteries all day. I haven't checked the voltage in quite a few hours. They're not loaded down very much, but uh, they have been putting out. Although last I checked we were dropping quite a bit. What's the analog need to say? Oh. 42 volts, whoops. So this has just kind of fallen off. I should probably undo the battery running. Oh, 10.0, jeez, this is not good. 10.75, eight volts, <laughs> eight volts. So this guy's gonna be full, no, 11. And uh, 10 volts, 10 volts. 9 volts, 10, 11 volts, uh, yeah, 
these batteries are not like this is 10.5 7.24 god these are unbalanced 11.63 11.12 let's see the final string don't think it's going to be much better 9.67 10.11 9.68 hey that's two matching ones and uh, corroded terminals yeah so I've gotten not a lot out of those like we have not been putting a lot of load on this thing geez like 500 watts 600 VA Runtime, six minutes, zero minutes. Uh, let's just plug this in for a second. Uh, and uh, like get rid of a battery breaker so we don't charge them. Uh, the meters of the UPS side, so it's just gonna spike. Huh. <laughs> well, that's some timing. Good thing I checked on it before we got a blackout. So yeah, that's for a lot of those done for the empty, ruined, bit of a waste of, nah, not a waste of time, I've had so much fun dealing with these, and tomorrow evening, we're moving out, rest in peace.